Here's my video explaining why leadership is important. Leadership is one of the most important things that you could ever have in your life. You have to define leadership also. Leadership is taking charge. Leadership is commanding what you want to happen. Leadership is having an idea, a goal, or a plan, no matter how fuzzy it is. Leadership is never showing doubt, discouragement, or fatigue. Because you as the leader, you are looked up to because you're the only one that can actually put out a direction to look into. When people are not knowing what they want to do, they're not being leaders. And it, it creates kind of a tense situation because any plan, the worst plan, is sometimes, is most of the time, better to be done than just sitting there on your butt. It's like the idea that the ancient author Seneca put out that luck is preparation meets opportunity. The example would be the Beatles. The, the Beatles played in dead end bars for years. So then they got lucky and they got discovered and they became an overnight sensation in hours or days. But it took them a, long, a lot longer practicing their skills, honing their craft to become that world sensation that they became. So why leadership is important? Leadership is taking care of yourself. Leadership is taking care of your family. So if you don't have anybody to take care of, you always have yourself to do it. You tell yourself, I'm a winner, I'm a champion, I deserve the best, here is my plan. So leadership is also realizing what you don't want and focusing on what you do want and creating plans and ideas towards actually making that happen. When you're able to figure out what you don't want, you can turn your back on what you don't want, concretely focus and say, I want this. So let's say you're tired of unhealthy people in your life. Let's say a significant other is not the healthiest person. Don't focus on the unhealthiness, focus on the health. You want somebody that is as healthy as you are or as healthy as you are trying to be. It's about contrasts and being thankful every day. But in the end, what is really leadership? Leadership is taking possession of what happens in your life. So for example, if you come to a party and you love champagne, you love the, you know, the different champagnes, you walk in there, they don't have any champagne. Is it really the host's fault? Did they have to provide champagne for you? Not really. You could have actually decided to bring the champagne yourself and pop the champagne. That's taking leadership. Leadership is also preparing. Leadership is relying on yourself as much as you can, but still be thankful for the mentorship and tutorship that you can learn from others. Leadership is also sometimes the ability to be led, to take orders too. Because oftentimes, before a person really knows uh, how to do something, they have to learn from a master, from a, uh, from a teacher. And if you can't say, yes, sir, it shall be done, you might not be able to actually progress forward and increase your knowledge base and your skill level to be able to make all your dreams come true. Because essentially, isn't that what it is? If you really look at things this way, that when we're not pursuing or focusing on a goal or a dream, we might be feeling unhappy because essentially we are creative, eternal beings that have this amazing experience of life. 
And by engaging the act of creation and making things happen in your life, whether, heck, it's painting your house, uh, arranging a shelf, or making certain accomplishments. That's why people actually love video games. It's because of that feedback loop. You play with the character, you get that uh, upgrade after you know a certain amount of time, and people get hooked on that. It's like a dopamine hit. hit. But at the same time, if you really think about it, that's the way everything is, especially when you're doing something you're passionate about. When you're putting out that passion, it is said that when you're on fire, everyone will come around from everywhere just to watch you burn. Because your energy can transfer to others and help people become better themselves. And it's gonna help you become better by being able to talk about these concepts, talk about the positives. Yeah, of course, acknowledge what the position is. But it's also a biblical statement if you think about it. Instead of talking about what you don't have, talk about what you want to have and give thanks for all those blessings in advance. And being thankful in every way, every single day. And yeah, basically, th that's about at least it for now. This, is, uh, this has been uh, my view on leadership and I hope to explain it in different ways more in the future. If you enjoyed the video, give it a great thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my friends.